Now then you two, you the tough man, and welcome back some more! I am the journeyman, I come from down your way, and what have I done? What have I done? I've lost a fucking ledge! I have lost a fucking ledge, fucking ledge, fucking ledge, I have lost a fucking ledge, oh yes I have! I've lost a fucking ledge, yes I have, yes I have, I've lost a fucking ledge, but I'll sign him next season! There you go guys, right, I lost a ledge. Some people quite rightly pointed out in my latest video that I put up, I think it was part 33, I'm not quite sure, 33, 32, somewhere along the line, and uh, they said, Toff, you missed out on a ledge, all because he wasn't actually worth that much. So I went back and I thought, let me have a look at this ledge. Well, I had a look at this ledge, which is Amidu Tea Party. Mr. Tea Party himself. And uh, this guy is quite, it, you know, he is a ledge. He is a ledge, let's be quite honest. His value is 700k, as you can see there. And uh, look at that. But, but guys, I found when I was waiting and, and looking around for people, I found more ledges. Keith Moog. Another ledge, in my eyes. Now, he does play for Borussia Dortmund. I, don't, I highly doubt I'm going to get him for uh, cheap at all. Um, Chris Verhoek. Ver Uek. Ver Uek. Left mid. Now, I do need another backup left midfielder because my other guy is getting old now. He's 25. <laughs> He's getting old. He's 25. So, look at this guy. His sprint speed's brilliant. His acceleration's pretty good. Balance is pretty good as well. And uh, so, looking at the rest of his stats, his crossing's not too bad. His dribbling's not too bad either. Um, there's a lot of good stuff there. He's only 17. So, I found two people at right back who I feel that are pretty much ledgers as well. Maximilian Hien. This guy looks like a good ledge, good standing tackle, great speed, great sprint speed. For a 17-year-old guy, not bad at all. Maxime Haller. Now, this is another one who I, I think is good, is worthy of bringing in. So, I've got all these on there. I've sent a, a lot of offers in saying, hey, tell me how much it's worth. So, I, I've, got a, you know, I've got a feel as to what they are for next season. So, Amidou Tea Party is £700,000. We can do that. I can quite clear. I can now, right now, I could put in an offer. Unfortunately, it's February and I can't do that right now. So I'm going to have to wait until uh, next season, in which case it's probably going to cost me more. But uh, in the end, I don't think that's a bad thing. Maxime Haller, 775,000. Maximilian Hien, 450,000. When it was actually, I think that he is, uh, well, I think they're both pretty much on par with each other. Uh, UCD, about your performance, want to mention the satisfaction with the quality of football we're seeing from the lags. We're just waiting on one more to turn around and say, hey, this is our valuation of this guy, which should be right now. 1.1 million. And uh, that's pretty good. But this one here, 2.1. I knew this one would be the most expensive because this is the guy who's the best out of them all, of the ones that I found. 2.1 million. He is the best one. But we do get a good chunk of money at the beginning of next season through doing uh, the, the Champions League ship. So, fingers crossed, we can get into the Champions League. That That is one of my main aims of this series now, is to get UCD into that Champions League spot. A few people saying, Softman, is this going to be more regular than three days? It could well be. It's one of my... It, it is, at the moment, it's the most watched series on my channel at the moment, is this one. I get regular viewers on it, so why not? Why not bring it in for a little bit more than, than what you're seeing? But there's... All that is to come. Uh, you've probably already seen a video of me talking about what my uh, my thoughts are on that, so um, be, be sure to check that out if you haven't already. So I'm going to go ahead and reject the offer. I don't, I've got no, no uh, cares to work for them at all. I'll manage them. So we're going to rattle through February. We're uh, apparently we're keen on signing Ver Ver Uwek. Uwek. And we are. We are keen on signing. All of them people that were on the shortlist, we are keen on signing. Because I'm going to lose a central defensive midfielder at the end of this season because he's 30 years old. I want him to move on. I want to get some new new peeps in. So we'll see what's happening there. Right, a press conference that nobody gives a fuck about. And, uh, well, I think that's actually my first team right there. That is my first team, uh, apart from Gonçalves Tanoko, because he shouldn't be there, actually. Even though he's like a makeshift right mid, is uh, Gonçalves Tanoko, because um, Salah Gil. 
Salagil! He's got to come on. He's got to start playing better. That's his problem. What happened there? Gonsalves to no... Oh, no, he was already on. What, I'm just taking him off again. You silly boy. Pungweo for Gonsalves Tinoco then. And that is my first team right there. Albornoz, Ben Musa, the new guy. Uh, of course, what's his face? Julian Guerrero is slightly better than him. However, he's 30 years old. I want to give my young guy some chance in uh, in Ben Musa, who is currently 21 years old. So I, I really want to give these uh, new guys some chance. So look at this squad, man. This is not a squad that belongs in... Uh, in the Euro in the Euro Cup. That we belong in the Champions League. It's as simple as. It was Champions Cup. Simulate the match, the home game against Bohemians. Look at the look at the gap between us and Sligo. We've got absolutely I don't think that we've got any chance of getting below them. And if we do, we've totally gone and imploded. These have gone a full three matches in a row with losing. Toon Kyrie gets the first goal. Ends up being 3-0. Ben Musa getting his first goal, I think, for the club. And uh, Gaetano Trevisan grabbing another one for 3-0. How fantastic is that? So what does that do for the tables? Well, Sligo must have drawn their game because they've now got 48 points. Um, oh, hang on a minute. No, I don't think they have. I think they won their game. I can't remember what they were on before. But either which way, we're still looking ledge. City, We're still two. looking ledge. UCD, one. champions of the Airtricity League. Look at that, guys. We don't even need to bother anymore. Don't even need... It's February, and we have been named as champions of the Airtricity League. How fantastic is that shit? I'll tell you how fantastic it is. It's fan-fucking-tastic. Ollies are a bag of wank. He could be okay, but his current overall for a 16-year-old is not particularly brilliant. And his potential, for me, if I want to look at a player, their potential has to be in their 90s. Has to be in their 90s. So I'm going to go ahead and reject that as well. <clears throat> uh, don't worry, Gajinda, you will be going at the end of the season as well, because you're currently 27 years old. People have been saying to me, hey, tough man, you should get rid of people when they're, when they're, you know, 27 years old, because you want to get, you know, your new guys in and what have you. 27 is a bit too young for me. 28, 29, that's when I start looking at, at getting rid of them, I think. But I don't, I don't think, you know, you've got a good point with what you say, but I believe that we can, you know, we can squeeze a couple of more years, especially because at the moment, Asvedo de Silva is 23 years old, right? You're saying that this guy's only got four years left. Four years left. I believe he can quite clear, he can go on to 28, 29 and still be good rated. As long as he's played all day, you know, every game, as much as he possibly can, we've got absolutely no problems with keeping these guys, no problems with keeping these guys up to scratch. So when it gets to 30 years old, like Julian Guerrero, for example, 30 years old is the point at which we need to let him move on. Remember, all of these people, well, most of them, the vast majority of people in my squad have all been um, free transfers. So whatever I sell them for is pure cash, pure wonga. Look at that. Albornoz got sent off, though, in the process, but genetically modified has got uh, two goals. And as Vedo de Silva, talk of the devil, has managed to grab one goal. We've got a guy sent off, didn't stop genetically modified from scoring another goal. And their only goal came in the 88th minute. Oh, how the mighty have definitely fallen with uh, Shamrock Rovers. Definitely fallen with Shamrock Rovers because they were up there with the best of us in in, uh, in Ireland, but we've just absolutely gone and just destroyed them. Just absolutely destroyed them. So we've lost, we've lost two defenders, Gonçalves Tenoco and uh, Albanos. But I think we could deal with that, can't we? The quarterfinals. Apparently, the opposition is to be decided. I've never seen that shit before on the screen there. But we're going to rattle through March now. No worries. With 46 points. AFC had Bottom too much the in the locker for Shamrock points. Rovers and certainly and fucking did. We have, Second we just have nowadays. Shamrock Rovers, they used to be all up there in our faces saying, hey, we are better than you. There was like shouting in the stands going, who are you? Who are you? Now it's our turn for that shit. Now it's our turn. I remember when I first came to uh, to UCD and, you know, I was struggling and we got into uh, to Europe that first time. Oh, man, that was good. It's good times, good times. Good, good times. This might come as a bit of a shock to you considering all that's been said in the press, but I've decided this is my place. This is the place I want to play my football 
and I'll be staying. I'll Rindika Ralte. Well, I'm looking at trying to get a replacement for him anyway. So there you go. So, oh, actually, I've lost my right back and my left back. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to delegate to the ass man. We're at home against St. Pat's. Uh, and St. Pat's have been doing very well. Three games in a row of wins with only one goal scored against them. That was Bohemians. 3-1. Gomez to Fritash, Asvedo de Silva and Gaetano Trevisan as well. Uh, next job that we go through to the semi-finals yet again. Can we get through to the finals for another year? That would be fantastic. 5,100 quid pittance nowadays. Uh, well, it was, it was at the start. It's completed his suspension, blah, blah, blah. He's completed his suspension as well, which is fantastic. Let's move on. And we're rattling straight through into, Mar into April of 2018 now. We've got some more prize money. Don't know what that was for, but we've got some. And we're against uh, Limerick. This time it's a cup game away against Limerick in the EA Sports Cup. Um, and another 5,100 because why not? Because why not? Um, let's have a look, see if we can do the old switcheroo and change a few people out. See what they see who they put up for this game. Well, Felipe Diogo Salagil is there. Gonçalves Tinoco is back. Albornoz is back. Which is good. We'll leave all the rest as they are. Away against Limerick. This is going to be a very difficult game, I'm reckoning, because Limerick are always a difficult team to go up against. We've got the, the quality, don't worry about that, but uh, it's an away game. So they've drawn their last two games and won the previous one to that. It was one all with a 4-3 victory in penalties. Penos, Jeff, semi-finals. Once again, we're in the final for a third year. Well, I think it's a third year running. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure it's the third year running. Genetically modified Lopez, 49th minute, and uh, we managed to win on penalties 4 3. How fantastic is that? Means we're through to the final again. Woo! Good stuff. Love it. Prize money of 11,050 uh, quid. I don't know where the 50 quid comes from. They might as well have said, you know, I'll have 11,000 or have 12,000. Here's 11,050 quid. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks very much, um, Irish FA. Uh, he's feeling good, so he's up. he's not going to be benched or whatever for the next game. Well, I'll tell you something. Gomez de Fritash is on that left-hand side, uh, Ralte, and he is an absolute ledge. But it's time to do the old switcheroo because uh, most of our team played in that game a couple of days ago. And the league doesn't really matter so much anymore now we've done it and won. So it looks like Gomez de Fritash is still actually playing. Um, let's get Lauren Dika in there and get him playing on the left for this game. We may as well uh, and keep uh, keep thinking of Bob nice and fit for the next game. So home game against Drogada. And look at that. We are 16 points ahead in the league. It's absolutely mental. Just totally owned it from start to finish. They've won their last game and uh, lost the two before that. One was against Cork as well. 5-0. Ralte scoring. Wee. Gaetano, Trevor Sam with two goals. Gomez to free task coming off the bench to score. And uh, Genetically Modified also coming off the bench to score as well. In an absolute rout. Even with my second team-ish against uh, Drogada. So this is going to be fantastic. This is another win. Now we're against Cork City. Who I think have had some sort of revival as of uh, recently. Let's go and have a look. Press conference. Nobody gives a flying fuck. Um, he says, Gaffer, I appreciate it. I don't think, you know... Um, the uh, the um, Indian, um, what's his name? Lalrindi Keralte, come on and say, cheers Gaffer. I don't think, you know, it, it, I don't think you come in and quite say that in, in those words, so they need to work on that shit. Right, anyway, um, what have we got now? Cork, I was going to have a look actually and, and see where people are in the table. Look at Shamrock Rovers, look, 15 losses. That is mad. And they've got a minus goal difference for like the first time in billions of years. And Cork City are not actually last for a change. They usually always last, but this season they seem to have uh, improved themselves somewhat. And they've got themselves off the bottom and put Shelburne there instead. So, who knows? Who the fuck knows? Let's do the old switcheroo. Gonçalves Tanoko. Cabrera Scapin is apparently in there. Well, I want, uh, no, not Julian Guerrero, the other one. Ben Musa, if we can, please, because he's an up-and-coming young guy. Got uh, full full uh, faith in this guy to be a ledge. Same as Albornoz as well. 
Um, other than that, I think everything else checks out there. Everything in this is looking brilliant. Here we go with another game. This time away against Cork City. It's going to be a difficult one, I'm sure. As it usually is when you go against people who are low down in the league. Especially away from home. 3-0. Lopez genetically modified. Getting two goals. And Felipe Diogo Salagil getting one as well. And uh, another route. Uh, another route. Another route. 73 point. Look at this. We are totally in control of the Irish League. We uh, we want to be promoted into uh, like championship or something in England. Be all right then, it? Sligo away from home this time around. Let's make sure the squad is uh, fully fit. It looks like they are, or at least near enough. Yep, they are. So let's go straight into the next game. No pissing about. Let's have a look at what those results mean. Simulate the match away against Sligo Rovers. They've lost their last three games all in a row. Is this going to be their fourth? No, they actually got a point off us this time. But if it weren't for genetically modified scoring in the 70th minute, could have been a very different score, uh, story. And uh, Lauren Di Ralte came off the bench and uh, injured himself in the process. So God knows what his injury is going to be. Well, let's go and have a look. He's uh, out for two months. Fan freaking tastic. Bohemian one. Fantastic. Who was suspended as well? Oh, Redetinac, come on, fella. We need you. You're like the ledger's guy around nowadays. Okay, we are now going into May. We're going to get the season finished this uh, this uh, episode, guys, which surprised me, actually. I thought it might just get to the end and then we didn't do anything, but I think we'll get the, fin the season finished in this episode. Second, Contracts are expiring, which is Lauren Di Ralte. Now, this is interesting. Do I go for this guy to keep him? Or, no, you know what? No. I'm just going to actually know because I got him on a free. And if I can sell him for a bit of a bit of Wonga, I'm not going to specify his role. Because if I can sell him, rather than letting him go for free, if I can sell him, then uh, we, we're looking ledge. We're looking ledge. If we can. If we can sell him. So it looks like we've got... Is that Shelburne this time around? I, don't, I can't remember who that is. It's declined. He wants to understand his role at the club. Oh, my God. Well, I'll give him a realistic role and say, hey, this is how it is. Take it or leave it, Ralte. Take it or fucking leave it. Well, it's going to be a crucial... For, no, it's not really. It's going to be a squad rotation player at best, and if he doesn't like it... He knows where the door is. I can always get somebody else in at the beginning of next season. So, it served me well. Don't get me wrong. It served me well. But it's time. St. Pat's. And we've got a red card, so we can just go like this. And uh, delegate to the ass man. It's a home game against St. Pat's. I, I expect nothing less than a win. Come on now, guys. 3-0. And it's a hat-trick for Trevisan for the first time in a long time. Uh, brilliant stuff. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. The, uh, oh look, it's an, a repeat again of the uh, EA Sports Cup final against Shamrock Rovers. So he accepted those demands, which is brilliant. Now we've got £170,000 for winning the Edge City League. So that's all finished and done and sorted now, which is great. Redetinac's back. Gatona Trevisan picked up a suspension. No! Not in this important match. Oh, mind you, no, it won't count for this one, will it? It'll count for the league. And let's Not this one. What those results mean to the league table. Shamrock the Rovers, table, neutral ground. Oh, no, it does actually count. Oh, shit. So we've got to delegate to the ass, man. We will watch this match as it is a cup final. This could be our third win in a row. I think it's our third win in a row. We haven't done four seasons and I lost one somewhere on the line. Oh, uh, this is, might be our third win in a row. Genetically modified Lopez de Araujo in the 20th minute. Ooh, McCabe has equalised for Shamrock Grovers in this neutral ground, wherever this may be. What's going to happen? Oh, Dennehy has scored for Shamrocks. Put them 2-1 up. Can UCD come back in the last 10 minutes? They've got an injury. And no, it's a shock result. The Shamrock Rovers are singing once again... Who are you? Who are you? In the crowds. I can't believe it. They're not even in the top seven, Shamrock Rovers. And they've beaten us there, unfortunately. But it's no biggie. It would have been nice to win it, but we haven't. £21,250. It's because we didn't have Gaetano. Um, when I signed my contract, you gave me certain promises, and you ain't getting them. That's because you're shit. Quite simple as you shit. 
So somebody was on 55 points. We were on 77. 22 points. 22 points in the lead. We absolutely smashed it this season. Absolutely. And still, we get the likes of New Zealand who want to come and say, hey, tough man, we want you to manage us. Well, it's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to be happen. Valencia won the Euro League, so it seems, and we've got a uh, performance review meeting going on. Just to say, you're doing a fan fucking fantastic job, tough man. Keep going. So let's go ahead and end the season there, guys. That is going to be the end of this episode as well. And uh, I will make sure that the next season is loaded up so you don't have to stand here for like five minutes and watch me like load the next season up. So another season down, another season down, another season bites the dust. And 22 points, we managed to win the uh, the Air Tricity League by we're in the Champions League spot once again. So we guaranteed a place in the Euro League if it doesn't uh, work out for us in the Champions League. Let's go ahead, find some more ledges next season, see what we can do. Until then, guys, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.